Welcome back everyone to Boomy World. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. We got Savannah Peterson out on the ground in the show floor getting all the action from the partners and the players here at Boomy World who are making AI integration happen. Savannah, over to you. Good evening and thank you so much for that intro, John. We're here at Boomy World 2024 in Denver, Colorado. My name is Savannah Peterson here acting as our roving reporter at the opening reception tonight. As you can tell, it is just buzzing. Behind us, there are hundreds, if not thousands of people enjoying fabulous snacks, delicious food, and beverages of all varieties. But I'm here with a fabulous guest from Open Legacy. Zev, thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for having me. This is great. I, we were just talking about how excited you are to be at the show. In case people aren't familiar, could you tell us about Open Legacy? Sure, absolutely. So Open Legacy is a, a, a company, it's a platform for legacy integration. Uh, so specifically we deal with very complex legacy systems uh, and what we do together with Boomi is we basically make Boomi available for all kinds of legacy systems like RAID frames, S400, older on-prem systems. Uh, so we're, we're kind of the last mile of integration to those type of applications. And you've been doing this for a while. Oh yeah, for well over a decade. Yeah, and so you've seen a couple different hype trends go through, different technology trends come through. Is AI similar, different? How is it affecting, of course, it's some integration, legacy no. integration? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you'll be shocked that uh, anybody now is talking about AI. Haven't uh, heard it at all. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, in, in this space. But definitely AI we're seeing as, as bringing a lot of impact. Uh, and what we're seeing is uh, three main trends or three main phases. Uh, of AI, some of it is already happening, some of it is com coming. Um, but the first one is just the productivity phase, right? That's where we are now. Um, I think a lot of people are doing that right now to a great success, but basically enabling developers to be more productive. Um, so these are all kinds of features around automation, around doing things in a smart way, in scalable way, um, that's uh, more automated than it used to be. Mm -hmm. Definitely making developers do things faster, cheaper, uh, but that's just kind of the first layer, uh, exciting as it is. The second layer, the second phase of what we're seeing is what we call agency. And that is kind of the next generation of AI, which I includes agents, basically having AI in real time, actually making decisions and doing things. Uh, that's a very exciting phase. Is that what you think we're embarking on now? So we're already on the edge, on the cusp of that. Yeah. There's some innovation around that, um, but definitely there's going to be more. Um, especially what we're hearing with the next generations of uh, large language viruses. Uh, and with agency, uh, the thing that's exciting around integration is that the AI will actually perform the integration. So instead of doing pre-built orchestrations, the AI will decide I need to go you know, here or there and do those kind of things. That will require a lot of integration, a lot of APIs. So definitely I see integration as you know, growing exponentially in the age of uh, AI agency. But that is not even the last of it because there's one more phase, Tell that us. is the one that we see, yes. um, and that is ownership. And that is the AI actually creating the integrations. Mm -hmm. uh, now, of course, you need the tooling for that, and I would mention that Open Legacy is one of those tools that enable AI. You're allowed to mention that, I'll let you, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You'll allow it, okay. So, um, <laughs> a tools that allow AI to actually create the integrations, so the AI will decide, well, you know, I need from the mainframe, I need this piece of data, I don't have an API, I'll create the API, reach into the mainframe and get the data. Uh, that is definitely something that will be possible in the future. Not so much happening now, uh, but yeah. definitely something that we're moving towards. So these are three overlapping trends that going completely change the landscape of integration, specifically legacy integration, uh, and make me at least very excited about the future. What excites you most about that future? I know we talked about hyper-customization earlier today. I'd love to hear what, what gets you up in the morning outside of obvious great solutions. For sure, so um, the, one of the challenges with legacy specifically is that everything is unique and different. Every organization, especially large enterprises, they have their own histories and sometimes it's like yeah. 50, 40 year old history in their IT systems. Um, and that's a challenge because you want to use the, the latest and the greatest. You want to use Boomi, you want to use all the you know, great features, but sometimes that's difficult because you need to customize. AI allows you to customize at scale. So you can reach into those very complex systems, do that at scale, and really attract every bit of potential, especially when AI needs all the data. You can't just keep data hidden and locked with these old legacy systems. So that's part of what makes me excited. Yeah, I mean, that's a great reason to be excited. I can feel your passion standing here. Let's talk a little bit more about the partnership with Boomi. You've been partners for a bit, correct? Oh yeah, for sure. So we've been partnered for a bit. And again, it's kind of like a perfect partnership because where we end, they start and vice versa. 
uh, we deal with those type of very customized legacy systems. Uh, and Google is really great at kind of being the uh, orchestrator and being the layer that provides the actual integration uh, in terms of, uh, you know, the orchestration choreography depends on how you want to pull. Um, so that combination works very well. So if you're in an organization and you already have Boomi and you're doing a lot with it, but there's a place in the organization where nobody touches, you know, that part of the forest where it's dark and nobody wants to go, yeah. uh, you can yeah. bring over legacy and all of a sudden shed new light on that part, bring it into the Boomi uh, architecture and have the same benefits uh, throughout the entire organization. I love that analogy or the flashlight, the dark part of the forest too. <laughs> Who hasn't been a little it's, scared? It's a Lion King analogy, yeah, but yeah, I yeah. won't. <laughs> But sort of had like a Fern Gully Lion King thing going on in my head. So that, that's great. Oh, I love that. What's um, what's next for Open Legacy? It's obviously an exciting time for y'all. Oh, for sure. So we're doubling down on AI for sure. Uh, I know Shocked. you're not the only one, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but definitely. Uh, and we're venturing more and more into this idea of uh, um, uh, customization at scale. Even if you have the most complex, you know, intractable problem that you don't know how to even approach, um, we want to go in there with our tools to basically provide you with something that fits your needs and able to do that at scale. So even if you need hundreds of different APIs, we're able to do that. We're really going forward with that. We're really kind of betting on that being the future. And again, as you mentioned, very excited about that. Yeah, reason to be excited. What's your advice for companies about to embark on this AI transformation who might be rightfully nervous about some of those legacy systems and what that might mean? So there are definitely going to be challenges, right? Regulatory yeah. challenges, uh, data uh, uh, residency challenges. So the, all these things are reality. What I would say is that you can uh, embrace it now or you can embrace it later, but it's coming. So better be early than, than, than late. Um, but definitely look at the trends around you. Look at the people who already done it at different stages. Um, there's going to be a lot of talk about it. There's going to be a hype cycle, but then productivity will start surfacing. And I, I think that uh, we're at a level where productivity does start to surface, uh, and we'll see more and more of that. I think I think that you're absolutely right. What's your what's your goal for the week? Anything you're really excited about? So I'm I'm, I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to have the conversation uh, with you know all the different partners, some really innovative uh, solutions out there, and of course later on with uh, customers and, and companies uh, that are looking for solutions as well. All right, last question for you because I'm curious. You probably see a lot of different things across industries. Actually, before I go there. What are, are you seeing any trends across industries or are most people kind of at a similar place in their transformational journey when it comes to so this hype? I would say that uh, we're kind of at the stage where everybody's talking about it. Uh, right. Do it. Right. <laughs> um, but the few that do, do they actually do it, uh, they do see some really nice benefits. Um, and that's industry. Some industries are more, I would say, conservative than others. So, for example, you know, in financial services, you know, I think we're more, more slowly because of regulatory. Um, but even there, we can see some really nice results. Um, we saw some uh, pretty dramatic improvements in terms of like financial uh, uh, results from uh, these type of projects. Yeah. And you can tack that on top of things that you already did with machine learning at the early uh, stages of AI. So definitely we see everybody moving in that direction. Some are faster than others, but that's just the nature of the disk. Yeah, well, it's, I bet it's fascinating. And, and there's a lot more to come to your point with people actually sure. executing versus those conversations. Last question for you, what taking off your open legacy hat, if that's even possible, what gets you most excited about our AI future? Okay. So what gets me most excited is basically the idea that um, adding capabilities to AI is not a matter of thinking about, I want to add this feature or that feature. It's about, it's about adding more resources and then seeing what it can do. Yeah. And to me, that's very exciting because it can do things that we never thought it could do. And I can tell you from our experience with Alpha Legacy, with the AI features we've added, uh, it was more successful than we thought. It was able to do things that we did not think it would be able to do. And that's a revelation. So working with AI is more of an exploration than, uh, than actually creating it. Uh, and that's to me, again, very, very something to be excited about the future. So much to be excited about. So thank you so much. Open Legacy typically reduces costs by 67% in the innovation cycle. Very impressive. Glad you're a partner in Boomi and going to help people moving into this whole new hype curve of tech with AI. A buzzword we'll probably be talking about all week. Thank you so much for taking the time. And I hope you have the best week. And thank all of you for tuning in, integration community, to our three days of live coverage here at Boomi World 2024 in Denver, Colorado. My name's Savannah Peterson. You're watching theCUBE, the leading source for enterprise tech news.